Hello, welcome back. This lesson I'm going to show you how to draw any polygon given its side. Now we're not going to use the protractor for this, we're just going to use set square angles that is the 30 degrees, the 60 degrees and the 45 degrees. Now this could be, this method is called the universal method, but in actual fact You can only you can use it only for the pentagon and the heptagon and other odd polygons because for the hexagon and for the octagon we've got much simpler methods. So this I'm going to show you how to draw the pentagon and the heptagon, but it could be used for any polygon. I'm going to start off first by drawing a pentagon when you're given its side. So let's say I want a regular pentagon with 40 millimeter sides. Regular would mean that all sides would be 40 millimeter. First step, I'm going to draw a perpendicular bisector of that line. Perpendicular bisector would mean I open the compass as much as I wanted, just as long as it's longer and half the line. That's a perpendicular bisector that went through the midpoint at 90 degrees. With your set square set at 45 degrees from this end or from the other end doesn't really matter. I'm going to draw a 45 degree line. There. Now the point of this construction is I want to find the center of the circle that would fit exactly five sides of 40 millimeter inside its circumference. If I use this as the center and this as the radius you could only fit four sides because that would that's 45 degrees if you double it you get 90 and you get a square so that point just gives you four sides if you take instead a 60 degree angle and use that instead a 60 if you double that you get 120 and that will give you a hexagon so that's too big so this was too small this was too big now I'm only going to use the set square angles for this what I need is a pentagon for five sides so what you need to do is find the midpoint of this distance here so I'm going to bisect this again to find the midpoint between four and six try to be accurate as you can but since it's got plenty of constructions it's easy not to get a very accurate polygon so that's that midpoint of the four and six it will give you the five which would mean that if I open my compass from there to the end of my line like that and draw a circle if you draw accurately enough you should have a circle that would fit sides 40 millimeter five times all right so you got one two three four five Irregular pentagon using only 45 degree angle and 36 and 60 degree angle. Now, using the same method, you could get a heptagon. If you look at this logic, this is a four 
side polygon, the center for that circle. This will give us the five, the pentagon. Here you get a hexagon. If you want a pen, uh, heptagon, which would be seven side, all you need to do is do the same method, but instead of drawing a circle from this center, take this distance between five and six and go one up. That will give you the center for a heptagon. So if I had to draw a circle from here to here, obviously you'll get a larger circle. And in this larger circle, you should get seven equal sides. So you open the compass again as much as the base. And you get a heptagon now instead. So the method for the heptagon, which is the seven-sided polygon, starts off exactly the same like the pentagon. But you don't draw the circle from the center five, you draw the circle from the center seven. And that's your heptagon. You could keep going up to draw the octagon with the same distance, the nonagon, and so. But for the octagon and for the hexagon, you've got much simpler methods than this. So let's go to the last method of polygons and the last universal method. Here we were given a regular pentagon or heptagon given the side. Let's say you were asked to draw a regular heptagon in a given circle. You don't know the size, you just know the circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a vertical line to start off with. A vertical line will give me a point at the top like this. Heptagon here. If you don't need a point at the top, you need it somewhere else. You have to draw the first line, the first diameter according to where you want it. So if you want a point on the horizontal here, you have to start off with a horizontal line. Now this diameter, I'm going to divide it into as much parts as I need sides. So for a heptagon, I would divide that into seven parts. For a pentagon, I would divide that into five parts. I'm going to use the method for the division of a line to get seven equal sides. So I want to divide the diameter into seven equal parts. I've drawn an, uh, another line here. It's a construction line. It could be at any angle. It could be any length. It just has to start off with your diameter you want to divide. Now I'm going to mark off seven equal parts. Make sure you get so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven equal parts. It doesn't matter how wide those parts are, just long as the just as long as those parts are all equal. Now I'm going to divide the seventh division, that is the bottom one, to the end of my diameter. And then if I take parallel lines from these divisions to the diameter, you'll get seven equal parts. But in actual fact, what I need is just the second division here. I'm not going to draw all the divisions. I just draw the seventh, the last one, to get my angle. And the second to get a parallel line. This distance here should be two sevenths of the whole diameter. Remember, the second division this is not the second division, this is just one space, one division. This is the second division. Now I've, I'm only always going to choose the second division, even if it's a pentagon, even if it's an anagon, even if it's an octagon. An octagon, you're not going to use this method, you're going to use a simpler method. But if you have, for any polygon you have, you take as much divisions as the sides, 
the last division to the end of the diameter and then the second division parallel to it. This is instead of draw calculating mathematically what 2 sevenths is of the diameter, I've done it geometrically. Now I'm going to open the compass as much as my diameter and draw two arcs. That bite that intersect each other. All right, it gives you that form. Where they intersect, I'm going to draw a line going through my second division here, and it goes through straight to the circumference. Make sure that you're passing through the second division of the diameter, not the second division of this construction line. Many students make a mistake that they draw a line from here going through there. This is the diameter you want to get. So what did we get here? We got this side. And there, that is your side of your heptagon. If you had constructed accurately, you should be able to fit seven of those sides around your circle. This is close enough. <coughs> Remember to keep your constructions faint in 2H so that your heptagon is clearly visible. What would I have done differently if I needed a heptagon? I would have taken only five sides here, one, two, three, four, five, for a heptagon, sorry, for a pentagon, for a five side polygon, then taking the fifth to here and this parallel to it. You join that line through there so you get a bigger side, so less sides will fit and five sides. Always remember to open your compass equally. So these are the two universal methods for polygons, but they're mainly used for pentagon and heptagon. Thanks for watching and feel free to ask questions if you have difficulties.